a few things that I would like to say. One, this is indeed a LeBlanc video against Cogmore, uh, but more importantly, this guy was a plat player, and I'm pretty sure he bought his account. There is no way that this guy was ever going to be at a plat level, and now he's dropped down to 1371, I am just even more sure of it. Uh, I'm sure some of you will recall I played against a... hold on. Yeah, okay. I played against a uh, almost Plat Swain player, and that was actually quite interesting. I mean, I still won. I was never in doubt about that, but at least it was like a bit of a challenge. This is literally one of the most stompiest games I have ever played in rank. And when I get to 1700s or so, my main, which I don't know when that's going to be. It depends when those is going to be free. Um. I won't play a lot more LeBlanc, because unfortunately at this ELO, if you give your lanes a, an advantage, they have a habit of throwing it away. Other things I'd like to note, this jungler is slightly retarded, because one, it's just the same with Shaka, if you like, pour your boxes. This is, he's deploying it so early, you're gonna, he's just wasting his mana, like, okay, he'll get blue buff, but still, it's not a good sign. A not so good sign is, spawned. he is, um, not doing all. Right. So this is against Cogmore, who really does not have the best early game in the world. And as LeBlanc, a good early game in the world, you will grind him into the freaking floor because his late game is blinking atrociously powerful. Where he'll oh, well, just poke you to pieces and also he doesn't have a feeling and just become an 80-ish carry by just hitting you and shredding you to pieces. So what have we got? I went to lane first, and he's already missed out on two minions, which means I'm going to hit level two first. So, at this early stage, uh, it's also Nautilus jungle, so I'm not really afraid of ganks this early. He wants to get this, even though it's way too early, so I'm going to continue hitting him whilst he wants to get CS. I'll punish for it every time because he cannot match with the hat. So the same again. The other thing is my positioning, which is I hit him immediately back off, and I can't get rid of him. I'm really sorry. But, yeah. I've damaged him to the point where I can just get a level two. So no problem. There's no way he can he can out damage me to begin with. There's no way uh, he could tell it. So I just got as aggressive as possible, and I killed him at level two. So let's just squashed him early. I'm going to keep squashing him until he learns how to back. I have no idea why this is bugged. There's no way I'm going to control it. Oh wait, there's a just picking up one. Ah, I'm retarded. Right, um, the Nordlis comes in the mid lane, which means the other two lanes are fine. This top lane I was never really worried about, considering how it was Aurelia against Gangplank, because Aurelia used to stay passive from the early game levels, and then the space to pieces later on. Bot's pushing, which I'm aware of, and I will see if I can gank there soon enough. But Poggy is now going to be always behind, and we're going to be killing him. Unfortunately, I put that to the face, but just that. Right. So it's shoved against his tower. And I'm just trying to last it where I can. And now that it's pushed to the tower, I can't harass him underneath it. I thought I could kill the bot. Unfortunately, um, I like I screwed up pretty badly. I asked to go around this way, because normally people, if they push it this far, will walk the river or try. And if you come through try, they have less time to react. But unfortunately, due to misclick, I ran down going through and wasting a heck of a lot of time. But it doesn't matter really. Two. We should stop telling me to reconnect because there's nothing to reconnect to. So I go and ward my the other flank to make sure Nautilus will not interrupt me. As I ground Cogmore into paste. Uh, what was the other thing? I can't really do anything aggressive now because A, there's all the minions, and B, he tried to extend his range and get out of it until he goes back to normal, and then his range is also pretty low after that. Yeah, the thing about level 2 kills is that I have to be slightly aware that you can QW someone, which is fine, and then you have a period where there's nothing they can do, and you, if you want to commit, you have two free auto attacks and ignite damage, which is almost as much as QW again. Because if they're silenced, they can't take pots. Right, what else can I say? Cogmore has a pretty fundamental flaw in him, generally. 
that because he's so mana hungry late game, if he doesn't build tier, that he has to build squishy, which means he's completely pointless. So I wait, and then I go back onto him, because he's stupid. And then, because I wait that long, I can get another sigil off, and then he flashes away because, I don't know, because he's facing a competent LeBlanc who knows how to abuse sigil time and will wreck his face. Like, if he was on 80, 80? No, no, if he was on 90%, I could have flashed after him and auto-attacked him to death and got the kill. But he flashed, so that's fine. Like, the problem with this jungler is I'm trying to get him fed, in a way. And just waiting so long that I could have killed Kong by flashing my W. So I distort in, attach change. He tries to flash this way, but because it's a thousand meter terror range, I can flash it. But I really get the kill, I'm just wasted to flash. I wasted to flash and ignite to get a kill that wasn't mine. I technically didn't need to, but in this game I was getting a little bit. Yeah, don't want to play LeBlanc. But cause it is just the uh, curve stomp, and I actually get so bored later on and just do stupid things. So, I go back to lane because there's no point chasing Kong more because I have no mana to kill him with. But unfortunately, Noka gets um, tower. so desperate to counter jungle that he almost dies, which wouldn't have mattered because then Kong would be worth money again. But yeah, not the greatest jungler I have seen. All the jungles of this elo tend to be terribly bad. <sighs> he is within killing range, but unfortunately I'm also out of mana. And at 180 just for Q and R, I need at least 260 to WQR onto him, I don't. And now being able, like, if, he, if I just simply walk to him, he'll just back away because he's not that dumb. And Maokai shows he hasn't really got any games since Cogmore had no mana and was never going to try and contest that. Especially if Nautilus on the level because he died as well. They would have no method of clearing him time before we got back. And instead of going for blue this time, we see whether we can go getting something at bot. And Ryoka decides to go that way for some really awkward reason. I didn't want to go here because I could have got locked down and 3 versus 1 could have killed someone but then not be able to get away. It was even more pointless. Um, Koggy saw me go down and he wants to follow. So I just wait in the bush and ambush him. No problem. And in this case, there's no. he's going to try and go this way. So I throw it directly down where no matter which way he runs, he's still going to get caught. Buy them, and then I just kill him. You have slain an enemy. Dodge sideways, because I, I don't know, I just had a feeling Nautilus would have been there. So instead of getting, it doesn't matter if I get caught, because Mirko was around, but I still don't want to take unnecessary damage to like, stay in lane for a million years. So that's a free kill there, just anticipating where our opponent's going to go. So I get blue. Wondering whether I can dive Gangplank or not. Gangplank actually was on the run 100% HP. Yeah, he was. And don't know what the fuck that build is, but still, people at this either are retarded. And I wanted to see whether I go down bot because there's no way I'm going to get body at this point in time. He's no threat to anyone right now. I can afford to leave the lane a little bit. But unfortunately, I then ask whether the is warded or not, but they don't really know, and they're just so far back. <sighs> I am wary of distorting here, thinking not back to the tower. That's about it. So, Cogmore's disappeared from the face of the planet. I gathered either they're going to... Uh, there's no way he's gone but He's either gone to get blue or help these two. As it turns out, he went to get blue and then took the retarded way home. So I found him, jump onto him and kill him. Like, I missed my chains, but who cares? I can just ignite. If I if chains land, I wouldn't use ignite. If chains didn't land, I just use ignite and auto attack him once and it'll be fine. So he's dead, I leave him. So he hasn't got to any other jank in the kind of save. Him. And we kill him as well. 
because the only other place Nordus could have gone was up in the attempt to escape, but people at Zila went down, so hey. No, I'm now not really afraid of getting gammed by Nautilus, because Nautilus hasn't got the damage to kill me, Pogba hasn't got the damage to kill me, if I get gammed, it's kill one of them. I don't laugh enough this game, because it's just so depressing. Uh, I jumped out. I can then stay in range, and change the prop, and yeah, free kills everywhere. So, I'm testing my damage on Nautilus. But because I don't have alt, I'll ignite. I can't really kill him. I just try and like, shoot him off. Cogmore, I swap, is on ridiculously low mana. And therefore, is no threat to me either. So I'm going to try and aggressively zone him as possible. If he wants to, like, a last hit with alt, fine. I just drain his mana even faster. So at this point, I am on 5 kills and 63 CS and some 60 and 3 deaths. It's like I've left the lane, I managed to kill other things. And at this point in time, I thought I was waiting for my yokai to actually initiate tank the turret aggro for me. But, oh well, it's not Leslie, therefore he hasn't got a clue. So I know I can kill him, and he has no mana left to actually retaliate any abilities. Like he can ignite me, but that's about it. I then actually make a mistake and draw turret aggro from this turret as well, which I was actually panicking a bit that actually might kill me, especially with combat passive. But potion save his day. Oh, the other thing with the block against Cogmore is that in general his passive is useless against you because you can just distort, kill him, then blink back before he can just chance to catch up to you. Yeah. <sighs> An enemy, enemy. Has been, an enemy has been slain. This was generally... He immediately flashes. Out of position, I punish him for it. Could have QR ignited him, but... Uh, doesn't matter. I'm pretty content with zoning him out. I want to kill him there, but he was just a team out of I then wait for Mayokai and try and dive in, but again, I should have realised by now this Mayokai has absolutely zero balls. And by the time I finish the base, he's already gone. I wasn't able to ignite him. North was actually dodged, which was amazing. An enemy has been slain. So then I go down and wonder. They probably can tower dive this. But I hesitate a bit too much and I end up not really doing much. But anyway, they uh, all hang out together, that's fine. If either Nautilus or Cogmo come along, I'll just blow them up as well. Which he tries to do, but no, he doesn't want to. It's funny, the gun flying. A picks gun flying, doesn't go away. B can be how he can double back. Oh, Cogmo wants to be stupid and try and hit him the wall. I always just pounce in his face. You can do it to a lot of people who try to get too cocky. Even if it's the jungler, like you said, you should just silence them anyway. Do damage, but more importantly, silence them so they can't uh, have a like, chance in hell. I'm actually smiting the dragon away from your jungler. I... this is another mistake of mine. Mayokai just really isn't tanky enough. I should have went and tanked it, especially since I have no mana anyway. I'm going to go back. So, yeah, I go back. I go back. Um, yeah, I was telling myself I probably should have gotten a Soul Stealer, but yeah, I'm just so bored. So, wondering whether anything can be done, they're too far back. Leona by herself, and like, we could have killed them actually, but I'm assuming this is warded, so I ward this to make sure North isn't going to follow me or something, then I go all the way around. Sona is out of position, and it, I don't know what, what Leona is doing. So I killed the person who was this one. And then Ash can slay this one, so I'll kill him. No problem. Double kill. It was Ash in the position to take care of Trist. I was in the position to take care of Sona add the cooldowns to make sure that I could kill Trist by saving my distortion. 
if I missed my chain, I probably would have tried to kill. Uh... If I had missed my chain, I would have just caught it onto Solar and then walked all the way around and then waited for cooldowns to come off and kill Ash. Not Ash, Trist, if she escaped, but she didn't. So, um. That was two kills I got. I just killed Cogmore by tower diving him because I know my damage. I can just murder him whenever the hell I please. He is now my personal bitch. Your team has destroyed a turret. Or thing. I have no idea. Your team has destroyed a turret. This was way too easy. Let me kill that. Just flash over the wall. QR saw it. Maybe flash, he flashed. If he flashed in either of these locations, you would have just thrown chains down the line. Because this turret was blocking the movement like this. So. It's okay, I'm gonna make a carry first, even if that wasn't really good, because I'm too bored, so... So, it yeah. snuffs it, which is why I don't really like rules this game, because he's threatening. It, I reacted a little bit slowly and wanted why Trish was hovering around, but, yeah. At the very least, even if you're not gonna buy wars, I would suggest you ward this area purely so bot lane has a bit more control of which to actually decimate their lane. Uh, yeah, at this point I get really bored An enemy has been slain. and just go AFK. Literally, I go and get a drink. I assume uh, nothing my team can do wrong and they come back to the So, don't know why Mirokai is going in, especially if None of us are in the house. So I wish for the uh, war chain, but he uses oranges, so it's K. I, I don't know, like, I just switch off. I should oh, have continued walking and gotten out of it, but I just, uh, I start doing really stupid things. But it's okay, I give them some hope, so they continue. Your turret has been destroyed. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm not overly enthusiastic about this one or some of the other ones, but I get this more as the some of the niche picks that might come out. Like Cog, who has an atrocious early game, and you can make sure he never becomes a threat. And maybe a few mechanics here and there. Also, if some of you are wondering why this is not in spectator mode, it's because it didn't save. All my support didn't save. But Technically she was still in range, but I had no vision, so R couldn't cast. But it's okay, flashes everywhere. So I know this is warded, so I want to go all the way around. Which I do. But then I screw up my combat. I have no idea why R didn't fire. But it did a max of my kill. So yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed to say the least. There's honestly nothing else particularly special uh, to after this point, so if you want to tune out then uh, I'm really not gonna be offended. Because like god, my brain had tuned out by this point. Although anybody could tell me why the hell this is white, but then, uh, they own a fine soda, so I would act. That's a money shot. Oh, okay, and QE will easily wipe off half of someone's health. Just Q damage in general, if you pop it, will do so much damage. <sighs> I have no idea how long is left of this replay, but honestly, it isn't that much left. Um, like, I was wondering to my team whether we could end this pretty soon before I fall off 
cliff that is LeBlanc for season three. Alright, no big deal. Go No. I knew, I saw Nautilus dredge lighting me, I still went in with a kill, just, just at this point I didn't care. And then, we're 27 to 8. We have to do some pretty heroic throws in order to actually go to the bottom. Four, five, no, four, four. And yeah. Uh, I don't even know now, Aurelia is fed to hell, Ash is fed to hell. Um, there is no way that they're going Shut down. I'm sorry. GG!